In the winter of 1981, some Senate staffers set about on a daunting task to be funnier than the United States Congress. The Capitol Steps origins are kind of interesting because here we were, Senate staffers, making fun of the very people that employed us. So we thought, well, they might fire us, but at least they'll ask us to stop. And what we found over the years was not only did they not ask us to stop, they would like invite us to perform. We thought that was really kind of strange. We performed for four presidents, five if you include Hillary. Don't cry for me, Giuliani. When you drop down, you know I beat you. Now tell Rick Lazio that ignoramus is why I beat him. I'm much more famous. This is my first time, and I must say I was overwhelmed. Yeah, I, I, was, I was underwhelmed earlier, but then when the show started, I was whelmed. And then I, by the end of the show, I was overly whelmed. He used to be a calm and quiet judge, but now he's like Matt Drudge. How do you solve a problem like Scalia? How do you fix the mess Scalia made? How do you find a legal panacea? If he doesn't go, we'll overturn Roe v. Wade. Oh, maybe now Bush shows Antonine a favor. Maybe our reputation isn't sound. Remember when they'd report, the president fixed the court. It's gotten to be the other way around. Some people in Washington are accused of double talk, but sometimes the Capitol steps do it on purpose. Or should I say, poo it on derpus. Let's start with Bohr. Now Bohr, he's a pansy fan who claims to have invented the neb and the interwet. <laughs> you know, also, he went to a tootist bimple. He was casing rash from nudist buns. <laughs> what a theasy sling to do, huh? We're just trying to have a good time, and sometimes we let the audiences give us their opinion. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. And who wants a millionaire tax cut? Please welcome all to George W. Bush. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good to see you up there. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so are you, uh, are you ready to play? Oh, sure. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Yeah. Here's your first question. Yeah. For a $1 trillion tax cut. Oh, wow. The president of France yeah, yeah. is the leader of which of the following countries? <laughs> is it A, France, B, Dawson's Creek, C, Aflac? Uh, gee, Reach, uh, you know, tell you what, I, I'd like to buy a vowel. Yeah. No, this, this isn't Wheel of Fortune. Why don't we go for the whole tax cut right here? One final question. Oh, sure, all right. Yeah, let's go, go. Here for we go. Yeah, all right, yeah. Here we go. What does Jesse Helms wear to the Senate every day? Well, uh, depends. That's right. That's I mean, right, he, sir. He, you get your tax cut. What? <laughs> wait a minute, Helms, wait a minute. So when you see our show and uh, we do a song about a politician you do like, you can be pretty sure that we're going to go after the politician you don't like in the next song. Now, we have noticed a certain uh, pattern. Excuse me. In the, uh, uh, thank you very much, Senator Kennedy. We will now hear a statement from the new Attorney General, John Ashcroft. I see sins I'll end throughout the nation. Life begins with Senate confirmation. Now that I'm Attorney General, I might give power to the loonies of the right. Well, anybody who sees the show will, will see instantly that we're tripartisan. Oh, sweet thing. Punch, punch, punch! Means you voted for Buchanan. Punch it once more. Punch, punch! And you've lost it for gore. Yeah. We're not angry comedians. It makes me so mad when people say that. I got 0 0.4. I got more votes than Nader did. Though I knew I couldn't win, I got under your skin. Stop. Stop. I can't stop. 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 I can't stop the right wing striking again. Right wing striking again and again. 
we are angry white men. I thought it was superb, damn. It was, it, their satirical lyricality was imbued with a sort of mellifluous imposition that belies their congressional uh, roots. I, I, in short, I enjoyed it, yes, very much. Former President George Bush here. <laughs> Got a real fine boy, he's my favorite son. Took a stab at being president and whoops, he won. He's got that vision thing and a resume and a little Kenny Bunk part DNA. And he makes me so proud when I hear him say, I wanna be like you, Dad. I wanna be just like you. All right, so yeah. you know what, I mean? oh, yeah. what I'd like to do now is uh, bring out my lovely wife, Laura. My hair, Laura. And you know, Laura and I have just had a, a wonderful relationship, and we've had a real monotonous marriage, haven't we, honey? <laughs> We're cheek to jowl with Colin Powell in the back of our big chauffeured caddy. <laughs> Won't he be great as head of state? Because my staff belongs to daddy. I flew, this is true, I flew all the way from Jakarta to see the show. I did. I'm told that every president has had a, a Secretary of Interior Design, so let's bring her on out here, Secretary Gail Lord. Mine every mountain, fill every stream, level every hillside, everything that's green. I'm not from this country, so uh, I would like to learn more about American politics. And I think I've learned a lot about American politics and also the American society after this show. I understand much more now. I'm the greatest gas, just try me. So refined, not ever crude. And you can afford to buy me if you give up food. What kind of fuel am I? We also do songs about, well, just about anything, like um, computer nerds. And Bill Gates himself is here tonight for this historic benefit concert. <laughs> so raise your mouses and let's all double click to help the software we all use. We, we all use words. a better word. You're already mine! <laughs> well, of course, one of the things we're known for is our, um, our spontaneity. And, um, of course, we always do topical songs about breaking news stories. Hebron, I'm in Hebron, <laughs> where we built 6,000 houses just this week. Tends to make old Yasir kind of free. Cause we're out in Hebron living cheek to cheek. Oh, it was fantastic. Oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. I almost my broke my spleen. It was incredible. It almost exploded out of I almost spit the drink out of my mouth. It was embarrassing. My day he left long ago because I was embarrassing myself. I was coughing and spitting. Oh God, it was wonderful. I would like to perform for you now great Russian tune written for me, Vladimir Putin. My name's Vlad, when I get mad, I send in tanks and army ranks where Chechnya sits. I'm Putin on the blitz. <laughs> in US, they all harass my Chechen mess. When I go bang, they say, disc, disc. Hey, Putin is a risk. Funnier than the Russian borscht belt. Yes, very nice. <laughs> das Vidanya. I like your country. May I stay? So, do the capital steps worry that they might run out of material? Senator, hey, Senator, good to see you. Oh, no, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not here. We're not here. Well, we used to worry that the Congress would get quietly competent and solve all the problems, and we wouldn't have anything left to write about. And um, we worried about that for about five minutes. This is our quest in scandals we trust. What's bad for our country is good news for us. People, please do your duty to serve this great occupation of ours. And vote for the funniest people. And turn all the steps into song. Thank 
you all. Good night. It was great fun. It's like nothing I've ever seen. I love you. Please take me home with you. I love you. You're wonderful. You really are. Fabulous. Yeah, the, absolutely the best. I can't even describe it. It's absolutely, I'm, I'm unbelievable. Am I getting paid for this?